Welcome back. Time now is 916, and it's a celebration of the founding of one of the oldest black sororities in the world. Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated's Founders Day was January 13th, but the organization is celebrating all month long, including this weekend at UNF. So joining me now to talk more about the organization and the upcoming Founders Day celebration is the Jacksonville Alumni Chapter President, Christina Stallings. We also have Founders Day co-chairs Melanie Swain Jackson and Triana Watkins. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, thanks so much for being here. Thank Could you. you talk about, Christina, the history of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Absolutely. We just celebrated 111 years. We're so excited because Delta Sigma Theta was founded on January 13, 1913, on the campus of Howard University by 22 founders. They were collegiate founders, and they were focused on service, sisterhood, scholarship, and social action. So we're really excited about that but also the history of the organization. We have currently today over 300,000 members, but locally, the award-winning chapter, Jacksonville Alumni Chapter, we have over 430 members in our chapter today also focused on those initiatives set by our founders. I cannot leave it out because we had a member, Wynonna Cargill Alexander, who was a part of our chapter, which sets us up for this Founders Day celebration. So we're excited about our chapter and our history and where we're planning to go. And she's resting here in Jacksonville. She is resting here, here in Jacksonville. Absolutely. We're really excited about that. Yeah, and I know that sorority in the organization is all about service to the community. Could you talk a little bit about the focus as well? Absolutely. Because one of the things that we do as a chapter, we focus on the five-point programmatic thrust. We align our programs to that, which includes economic development, educational development, international awareness and involvement, political awareness and involvement, and physical and mental health. Some of those are impacts that we've been able to provide has been focused around the educational place where we have also donated over $156,000 in scholarships to deserving students. We focus on Feed the City. We've also donated over $7,000 in the past to one of our international locations so that they can save the lives of, of newborns by giving them incubators. And that's so important to just recognize that, you know, it's beyond the collegiate experience. And I know many of you are dedicated to the sorority, and so that's something that I'm sure is very important to you all. Um, could you talk a little bit, Triana, about what people can expect from the Founders Day celebration on Saturday? Yes, so our Founders Day celebration is this Saturday, January 20th. It will be at the UNF campus at 11 a.m. We are going to bring a show. We have our esteemed keynote speaker, Dr. Gwendolyn Boyd. We will have special guests, city officials there. We have our very own chapter member, Councilwoman Jacoby Pittman will be there. We have Dr. Janetta Cole will be there participating. We have the Groove Band. We have our very own Delta Trio will be there. This will be a show that you do not want to miss. I know a lot of people are excited. You know, yes. it's, it's already sold out. But it's already yes, sold so that, out. So that speaks to, again, all of the excitement surrounding it and how, long, how much you all have been preparing. So, Melanie, what do you hope guests take away from the program? You know, um, our founders had a vision to establish a sorority that was called to service. So it's really my hope that guests get to just get a glimpse of the passion and fervor that our founders had in 1913 and that when they leave the program, they can understand why members of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated are really committed to transforming lives and impacting communities. A lot of historic yes. historic people are members yes. of the sorority, so I know that you all are very proud of that as well. So, Christina, as we close, um, how can people still support the organization? Because as we mentioned, it is sold out, the event, but I know that I'm sure some people would still like to support. I think it's very important that we recognize without the community, without partnership, without people, we cannot provide impact. Yeah. So what we expect is that we want to increase our scholarship contributions by more than $20,000 this year for our May week program. If you want to donate, please inquire at deltas at dstjacks.org. And it's important because college is so expensive now, so I know that there are a lot of deserving students out there that could really use the help. So I know everyone is appreciative of all the work that you all are doing. And one Thank more you. thing, we don't want to forget our 22nd national president will be in town. She's our keynote speaker. Yeah, and she's, so we are looking forward to having her absolutely. here. Absolutely. Former president of Alabama State University. That's exactly yes, right. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> all right, well, thank you all, ladies, thank for you. being here. Thank you. Thank you. Yes.
and we'll be right back.